So for today's tutorial, uh, last tutorial that I uploaded, I had mentioned a product from L'Oreal and it was the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. So this is a mascara primer and what I had mentioned in my last tutorial was that my daughter had asked me if I was wearing false lashes, which I wasn't. I was just wearing this primer with uh, some mascara on top. So I thought for today's tutorial, as you can see, it's a little bit different. My makeup's already done, but what I will do is I will show you how I apply this primer. Uh, first I curl my lashes, then I apply the primer, and I actually think I apply two coats, and then I curl my lashes again, and then I apply some mascara. So while I will be singing today, as per usual, I will not be doing my makeup, I'll just be doing my mascara. So I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions at all, please do leave them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to respond and I hope you enjoy today's tutorial. I will be zooming you in once I start applying just so you can see exactly what I do. Thanks. And I will, as always, talk about what I've done after I sing.
So that was Foolish Games by Jewel. And what I've done so far is I've put two coats of the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. And then I pumped my lashes after, curled them. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to use the, and you can use any mascara you want, but this is the YSL Mascara Volume Effet Fossil, the curler. So the reason I'm using this is because I did receive it in a Sephora favorite set. I believe it was the Lash Stash. And I have used it before. What I'm doing is I'm starting at the base. And I'm slowly, slowly dragging this up just to separate the lashes and then I will wiggle it after um, at the base just to get some color deposited at the lash line but right now my main concern is to keep the lashes separated now just so you know this primer and any mascara combination is not for the uh, faint of heart so what I mean by that is if you are looking for a natural looking lash, almost the, the kind, and I have a little mascara there, which I will wait for it to dry, and then I will wipe it away with a Q-tip. But what I mean is if you are looking for a lash that looks natural, almost as if you are not wearing any mascara at all, then this is not the mascara for you, or this is not the uh, routine for you. But I myself sometimes like to look as if I'm wearing false lashes without actually applying false lashes. Because no matter how many of those tutorials I watch, I tell you, I just cannot get the hang of popping them on with ease. Uh, one thing I did notice was when Halloween comes, and I typically will apply some false lashes for Halloween because really... Let's think back to the movie Mean Girls. You can get away with anything at Halloween. Um, almost anything, Justin Trudeau. Uh, you can get away with anything at Halloween. And so I figure, you know what? It's not as if people are looking at my eyes on Halloween thinking, what was that girl thinking? Applying those false lashes, they look horrible. I can apply them horribly on Halloween, if need be, and no one will notice that I can say but it's interesting because when I do apply them at Halloween no word of a lie I apply that lash glue I let it get tacky I apply the lashes and there's zero problems at all they look fabulous now when I try to apply them in my everyday life they stick to my applicator uh, they are too far out on my lashes they stick to my finger anything that can go wrong with them does go wrong and so I just, I don't know. Now, what I'm doing now, for those of you that are thinking, I actually have a life and this is not realistic. I would not do this on a regular work morning. I might apply one coat, but I just want you to see what can be achieved with this mascara and with this primer if you are willing to take the time and apply a few coats. So hopefully you can see what that's done. And now, as I said, I'm just going to grab a Q-tip. And because I've allowed this to dry, I should be able to just wipe it away. And I don't have any foundation or anything like that on, so I'm not worried about wiping it away um, or it rubbing off. But hopefully you can see the difference that that has made in my lashes. And I'm just going to zoom out now. So I'll just turn a little bit and close. But yeah, I was really impressed with this primer. I don't typically use a lash primer, but what can I say? Um, for a drugstore primer, if you want to hit up Walmart or one of the more affordable places, definitely I would say if you are someone that's looking for volume, if you're looking for drama, and you don't mind a mascara look that is apparent or is obvious that you're wearing mascara, then I would highly recommend this one. 
I hope you have found this um, tutorial helpful. I just see that I have a tiny sparkle under my eye. I'm going to wipe away. If you have any questions about today's look, please feel free to ask. As always, I will list the products below that I did apply prior to my tutorial. But again, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you have found this useful. And if you have any questions at all, always ask. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you are enjoying life. See you again in my next tutorial.